Ah, Fright fans, beware of the guard who stands tall, for his tale is as chilling as the whispering gale at the Pillar of Worlds. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring the death bell icon to awaken your senses for the saga of the Pillar of Worlds. Kale stood, the embodiment of vigilance at the base of the Pillar of Worlds, an imposing structure that rose like a spine from the earth and pierced the heavens. It held the worlds together in a delicate balance. This lone warrior, with eyes that had seen ages pass and hands that had shaped the outcomes of silent wars, was its protector. His rifle, as much a part of him as his own beating heart, hummed with a latent promise of violence against those who would seek to harm the pillar. Whispers began to spread, riding on the chill breeze, whispers of the black eclipse. It was an omen that foretold the coming of Voss, a warlock born from the darkness between the stars who yearned to unravel the cosmos strand by strand. This looming threat gnawed at the edges of Kale's resolve. His duty had always been clear, but the foretold apocalypse that Voss would bring was a terror that even he had never faced. It was a shadow that crept into his dreams, a specter of destruction unlike any before. Time ever the thief hastened the approach of darkness. With the pillar's fate uncertain, Kale ventured into the Evernight Forest, a place where the natural laws bent and wavered like heat over a flame. The forest was an enigma, its depths home to creatures and spirits, as old as the legends that spoke of the pillar's creation. It was here, beneath the boughs of trees that groaned with ancient sorrow, that Kyle encountered the sylphs, ethereal beings that fluttered on the edge of reality. They had long been dismissed as figments of fable. Their queen, Lisa, with eyes aglow with the light of lost galaxies, saw in Kale a kindred spirit. Despite their contrasting natures, one born of earth and iron, the other of air and mystery, they formed an alliance. The Sylphs, led by Lisa, pledged to cloak the pillar from Voss's sight, offering Kale a chance to end the warlock's mad quest before it truly began. Under a cloak of magic that made the air shimmer, Kale perceived the hidden sinews of the world. Guided by Lisa's whispers, he tracked down Voss's sanctuary, a cathedral of nightmares, its architecture a blasphemy to the living worlds. They struck swiftly. Kale's bullets tore through the ranks of the warlock's disciples like a scythe through wheat, sowing chaos and disrupting the foul ritual that would have brought ruin upon them all. However, every victory has its price. In their retreat, Lisa was captured, her brilliance dimming in the unyielding grip of Voss's minions. Kale, who had long since buried his capacity for camaraderie beneath layers of loss and duty, found himself torn. Saving Lisa meant risking everything, but the thought of abandoning her to darkness was a betrayal he could not stomach. With the weight of the Sylph's fate heavy upon his shoulders, Kale returned to his post before the pillar. The monolith that had always been his charge now stood as a silent judge, awaiting the outcome of the impending clash. It was there, amidst preparations for a siege that might determine the fate of all worlds, that Kale understood the cost of his next choice would be measured in more than blood. It would be counted in stars. As the eclipse devoured the light, Voss appeared, not as a man but as a force, a maelstrom of malice intent on tearing the pillar down. They clashed, Kale's rifle singing its deadly song against the chorus of Voss's dark incantations. It was then, in the crucible of that confrontation, that Kale saw the truth. Voss was not merely his enemy. The warlock was his reflection, conjured from the darkest depths of his own heart by the pillar's arcane energy, a test of his worthiness to be its sentinel. With the realization came liberation. Accepting the shadow within, Kale disarmed the warlock with an unspoken understanding, a kinship of souls. Voss's form dissipated like mist at sunrise, an adversary defeated not by bullets, but by the embrace of one's own flawed humanity. The Pillar of Worlds, once more a silent custodian of peace, stood unscathed. Kyle whose journey had taken him beyond the realms of battle into the battlefields within, had become more than a guardian. He had become the very essence of the pillar itself, a keeper not only of worlds,
but of the delicate balance between light and darkness within every soul. Somewhere in the heart of the Evernight, Lisa awaited her liberator, her faith justified. For the pillar had indeed chosen its guardian well, a man who had faced himself and in doing so had saved all worlds. In the end, my ghoulish audience, it was the heart within that held the darkest fears, not the shadow without. Let us know in the comments if you've ever faced the reflection of your own inner crypt. Fright fans, click next for more chills and hit subscribe to join our ghastly gang. You see, who dares to miss out, so watch our next video.